Born January 19, 1809 to parents who were actors, Edgar Allan Poe was an orphan by the age of three. Raised by the Allen family in Richmond, Virginia, he had the very best education until his gambling forced him home. Poe married in 1835, but his wife Virginia died in 1847, leaving Poe in a state of depression. Now residing in Baltimore, Poe was found unconscious on October 3rd and died on October 7th, 1849. Poe's legacy is an outstanding body of work from the American Gothic period. Poe helped to develop the horror genre and is credited with creating the detective fiction genre. He is also regarded as the architect of the modern short story. Poe's success was due to his focus on style and construction, as he felt these two aspects determined if a work was effective. With his inspired imagination and his brilliant use of language, Poe's works are a key part of the history of literature. Several literary devices are found regularly in the works of Edgar Allan Poe, irony, repetition, and rhyme scheme. Irony involves using words in a way so that their intended meaning is different from their actual meaning. It's the difference between appearance and reality. Telltale Heart from 1843 offers irony on a large scale. The narrator uses the length of the story to claim that his actions are cool, measured, and criminal, but not mad. The narrator confesses killing the old man to the police and believes his ability to hear the dead man's heartbeat as proof of sanity, not a symptom of madness, a stark difference between appearance and reality. In Annabelle Lee, written in 1849, Poe uses repetition of phrases to cement the theme that they loved with a love that was more than love. The name Annabelle Lee appears in seven lines, varying from I and my Annabelle Lee, to beautiful Annabelle Lee, to chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. Poe used repetition in many of his poems, most famously perhaps, in The Raven. Repetition in The Raven helps the reader visualize the setting, the famous visitor, and nevermore, the visitor's only word. The Raven, published in 1845, uses the rhyming scheme A, B, C, B, B, B. The rhyme and repetition helps to create the atmosphere for the reader and aids with comprehension by helping the reader make connections to the poem. Poe utilizes an internal rhyme in The Raven as well. The first and third lines of each stanza each contain a rhyme within the line. Poe was my introduction to the beauty of language. Quoth, for example, comes from the Middle English verb quefen. Today it is the only form of that word still in use. We most likely have Poe to thank for that. The language of Gothic literature creates a vivid world to escape to, where a person realizes one's life is not as bad as it seems. My early readings of Poe shaped my lifelong literary habits. My shelves are filled with Shelley, Stoker, and one of today's most skilled short story authors, Stephen King. Edgar Allan Poe used figurative language and literary devices to craft stories that linger in one's memory. Poe helped influence generations of authors, artists, and most importantly, readers. <laughs>